Hi, everybody. Lexi and I welcome you to our podcast. And we've have a, we've been having a great series on Women's History Month, the women who are all time greats in medicine and science. And Alexia suggested that we combine medical breakthroughs with great women scientists since it's Women's History Month. And the first one we did was Candace Pert. And Candace Pert, she was the one who coined the term endorphins and showed that our own brains release natural painkillers. Number two, Lynn Margulis, okay, the wife of Carl Sagan. And Lynn Margulis deserves two Nobel Prizes for what she did. Thinking outside the box, she showed that the energy factory, the energy of life, is actually from morph bacteria, which becomes the mitochondria. Today is another, you know, record breaker kind of, uh, her name is Artema Somapopoulos. And just like the name suggests, she came from a wealthy family from one of the Greek islands, and she came to the States to go to medical school in 1948. And she went to Columbia, uh, PNS, and she became a pediatrician. And then she worked her way up and she became the head of the nutrition section at the National Institutes of Health. Okay. And since she was a pediatrician, she's interested in children. And what she noticed was in a generic way, an epidemic of attention deficit disorder, sound familiar, okay, memory problems, okay, hyperactivity, whoa, in children, okay. And long story short, what she did was she traced those problems to a deficiency in 80% of the mothers, and of course, 80% of the mother's uh, milk was lacking an essential fatty acid. And we know that essential fatty acid today is omega-3. So thank you, Artemisomopopoulos, for working that out. And the omega-3 is actually recognized as a vitamin, vitamin F. So for families out there, don't stop with A, B, C, D, E, add on vitamin F, which is the essential fatty acid omega-3. And the core idea of why it's so important, Alexia and I gave many, many talks on feeding your miracle brain. And let's just use the computer analogy that we're all familiar with, hardware and software. 60% of the brain by dry weight is fat. And many of those fats are omega-3. So omega-3 literally forms the hardware, the structure of the brain. But in addition, the omega-3 also forms one of the most powerful neurotransmitters, the feel-good neurotransmitter called serotonin. So for both hardware and software, omega-3 feeding your miracle brain. And as we always do, we always listen to Alexia on the everyday, sundry, practical, pragmatic pointers. I tend to be a little theoretical, but Alexia loves to help people and gives a lot of these little pointers. So here's Alexia's pointers for the day, one, two, three. Number one is that please get the deep sea cold water fish that is replete with the omega-3s, okay? Do not look for too much omega-3 in the warm Gulf waters, okay? Is number two, Alexia is real big on the really good uh, sardines. 
And one of the reasons is they're clean, no mercury. Why? Because they're at the bottom of the food chain. And those giant fishes you see is, for example, like tuna fish, the mercury tends to accumulate in the fatty depots as you're going up the food chain. So sardines feed on the algae and they are nice and clean. In addition, Alexia says that they have 2,500 milligrams of uh, omega-3 per serving. That is a lot. And then Alexia's third point is if you have a choice between Atlantic salmon and Pacific salmon, everyone loves salmon, okay, please go for the Pacific salmon because as a rule of thumb, virtually 100% of the Atlantic salmon is farm raised, whereas the Pacific salmon is usually not. So those are Alexia's three pointers for the day on how to get for you and your family the omega-3s, which are now a vitamin. So we thank two people for today. We thank Artemisomopopoulos for showing that not only in children for proper brain function, omega-3 is essential. And if that's what we see, memory problems in children, well, how about us seniors? That's a intuitive. Okay. And thanks number two to Alexi again for designing the special series that we're doing on Women's History Month and isolating the incredible breakthroughs vis-a-vis -vis world famous women scientists. So thank you so much. Have a great day, and Alexia and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.